I grew up in foster care, and I had a really rough childhood. I always wanted to be a Marine. All the idols I had in my life were Marines and very important people, and I was able to get into the Marine Corps after I graduated from college. I, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I served as a military police officer, mm -hmm. and I got to travel the world. It was one of the greatest times of my life. Unfortunately, I had to get out a little bit earlier than I wanted to due to some mental and physical injuries that I sustained. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for your service, though, man. How did you end up needing a ride? I've been struggling since I got out of the Marine Corps to kind of readjust to the world, and it's been from job to job, and unfortunately, I made some bad decisions because of it, because it got me to a really, really dark spot, and yeah. I ended up with a DUI, so I lost my car and my means of travel and transportation. Which is hard when you have a job, you can't get there, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't get around, and then in Colorado, it's just everything so far, and I said, I had one more opportunity to get a job that kind of gave me light, but I had no way to get there, and I figured, I don't usually ask for help, but I need to do this. And we all need help sometimes. Yeah, yes. Kara, what, what did you think when you saw the message? Well, I thought, you know, that seemed like such a simple request that I could help him with the ride. And um, after talking to him throughout the day, so many people reached out, our whole community, it was amazing. And people started texting me, messaging me, and um, so I asked Thomas, you know, is there anything else? So many people want to help. What else do you need help with? And he said, well, my pantry's kind of bare. So it I, just go kind ahead. of blew me away when she had asked as well because I was just, it was just a simple request and I'm really bad at asking for help, but. We all are. Yeah. I, yeah. I needed, I knew that I already started, so I might as well at least try to see if I can kind of get some, something to eat at least in my house. Yeah, how did that make you feel though when they reached out about all that? Just shock and awe, honestly, just overwhelming. Because you said you're in a pretty dark place, so I think the most magical things that happen sometimes are, uh, unfortunately, when we are in those darkest places and then some kind of light comes and you're like, finally. Like, it's all of a sudden I get like a break. I, kept, I caught a break and I needed the break. I just think that's odd. So Kira, why do you think Thomas's situation rather like struck you so deeply? Well, when I first saw the request, I just thought, you know, I could do that for you. But then after talking to him throughout the day um, and learning all of his struggles, my brother also was in the Marines and oh. had a lot of the same struggles that Thomas did getting out. And he had a lot of family support and still had a really hard time, you know, getting resources and help. So for Thomas, who really didn't have anybody, it's so hard to be an advocate for yourself. And I think it's so important to help to help veterans, like they've given us so much. So. so Thomas, I understand Kira, her generosity came at like kind of a very important time for you. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I was in a really dark place. I don't have any family or like friends that are close to you me that now. I can. You do now, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just been honestly terrifying kind of watching my life crumble and when she came and started offering like, hey, I can, help you and I'm gonna be here with you. It was, she saved my life. So I guess the big question is, did you get the job? Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but I have Miss Kara by my side, so I know we'll find something. Oh my God, work. I know you will too. Can you, Kara, can you tell me how you're working with Thomas to get him some stability? Yeah, so um, after talking to Thomas, I realized that there was a lot more he needed than just a ride. Um, so his housing situation is temporary right now. He's going to have to be moving out very shortly. So a job, housing, just the basics that we all take for granted we has do. really been a struggle for him. So I told him, you know, he's stuck with me now. We're in it together, and we're going to figure it out. I love it. Well, Thomas is not alone. Yes. Thomas isn't alone, y'all. Hundreds of thousands of vets struggle with unemployment and underemployment. Thankfully, there are organizations that can help. Shante Trotman is in my audience right now. Shante is a manager for the Denver Workforce Services. She's also joined by Chris Villapando, the owner and founder of Code for Security. Y'all give it up for him. Shante, I'm sorry about that.
about the snow. It's okay. Sharpay We're from got drenched in snow earlier. <laughs> but you both have good news for Thomas, right? We do. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Thomas. Hi. I just want you to know we are here for you. We hear your story so much. I want to start off by saying, Thomas, thank you so much for your service. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you so much. You know what, we work with veterans through our Veterans Career to Service program here with Denver Workforce Services. I'm Thank thrilled you. today to let you know what we have Thank to you. offer for you, yes. yes. We know that um, you need a partnership and a collaboration. So we're working not only with our partners from the Metro Denver area, but we're working with Volunteers of America, AD Works, which is close to you in Aurora. So through our Veterans Grant, we're gonna work on helping you to get that transportation that you need. Yes. We talked to our housing team. They're interested in sitting down with you and helping you to navigate the tools and resources that are available for you for housing. And then we're here to give you that career coaching that you may need. We want you to know that we're here for you. You're not alone. We're here to help you. We can do this we're together. We're not alone. Okay, Thomas, we're here for you. I'm the owner and, co and founder of uh, Code 4 Security Services. Uh, we are the premier security company in Denver and the Denver metro area. Um, sure. I am very proud of what you've done. We work with a lot of veterans. As a matter of fact, approximately 10% of our employees are, are veterans and um, some of them have disabilities um, that we have to work through in order for them to be a part of our team. So I want to let you know that we have work all over the metro area and a matter of fact, our offices are really close to your house, okay? Oh, so, God, that's awesome. I'm very proud today to offer you a position, part-time or full-time, you get to pick. <laughs> we have a wonderful group in Denver. Our managers and our employees are incredible. And after the show today, you and I are gonna get together, probably when we fly back to Denver. <laughs> and and um, we're gonna talk about getting you a job. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Kara, you have one more thing that you want to say to Thomas, right? Well, I just want to tell Thomas, of course, he knows he's my friend, but he's also family, and we would love to have you for holidays at our house. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like the stovetop kid. I just show up at dinner time. Uh -huh. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, what is that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite myself, too. I'm going to be his date. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to encourage everyone to be good neighbors, y'all. Show us how you're connecting with the people in your community on Facebook at Kelly Clarkson Show using the hashtag Good Neighbor Challenge. Maybe send us a photo of you and a new neighbor, and you just might be a part of a whole show highlighting good neighbors, and also you'll be part of something that's bigger than you that is more important than anything. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.